Okay, that's not gonna work. <gasps> Woo, you see everything. Look at, you can see every little thing. Oh. M G. Okay. So anyway, hey everybody, Siki here and I have not filmed in like two weeks. So I totally miss you guys. Like even though you've seen videos, I have not filmed. So a lot has happened since I last saw you guys. I know you guys have been seeing videos, but I have not been filming for like a couple weeks, but it's all good. Like all great stuff has been happening. I spoke at an event. It was at the New Girl Expo. I put pictures on Instagram and you guys, you know, everything if you follow me on snapchat i'm just saying so what it do to my snapchat fam anyway i am filming with a new camera i have this whole monitor right here so it is a little weird and i feel like you can see everything so anyway let's get back to the video at hand okay so i miss you guys a whole lot because i feel like i have not done makeup and like did a little chit chat with you guys so i am like super happy to do this and what we're doing today is we are using this powder this is the makeup forever duo matte powder okay and i'm using this only i am not using a liquid foundation today okay so i already put on my primer which is this right here this is the black radiance primer it is true complexion shine control primer so now i'm going to do a little correcting and i usually use this nyx hd concealer right here but as you guys can see or maybe you can't see this nyx hd concealer right here you guys like i totally have used a lot of it and it's almost gone and my peach luster is all gone, okay? I can't believe it's gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this right here. Y'all excuse me, cause I'm trying to get used to this camera, but I'm gonna use this right here. This is Max, what color is it? Oh gosh, I have on contacts too. I think it's just called orange, all right? So anyway, we are going to correct. Can y'all tell? Y'all could totally tell I haven't filmed in a while cause like I'm all over the place. And we're just gonna put a little right here and a little right here. And I'm going to do some right here too because you see those little spots being disrespectful like when I had a little bump or something right here too. Oh Lord, y'all can see everything. See? And a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, your skin is so perfect. Now you guys can see all the imperfections because I'm not trying to hide them. We all have them. You know what I mean? I feel like when I correct right here, it just makes for my makeup to look a little more flawless. Okay. I like to use this right here which is, I think it's a Morphe brush. I'm not sure which one it is, but I like to use this a lot before I use my beauty blender. And you know what? I totally forgot to do right here. Y'all, when I don't film for a minute, I feel lost. Oh, you guys, and this camera, it has a viewfinder too. So I'm super happy about that. But I'm even more happy that it has an HDMI cable or HDMI plug so I can plug it into a monitor and I can totally see what I'm doing. So now that I have the corrector on, I'm gonna blend with my beauty blender. And Lord knows we better blend real good y'all cause this camera's showing everything. And now I have this new concealer. It is by Tarte. It is called Tarte Maracuja. It is full coverage, creaseless, waterproof, and long wear concealer. So this is in the color deep. And I'm gonna put a very little bit cause I heard all you need is a little bit, like a dibba dabba do ya, okay? Even though I'm using all powder foundation, I still want to do a little bit of concealing. This is kind of like a first impression too, but I think because it's so thick, I'm gonna use my finger. So far, I like it. And in case you guys were wondering, on my eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Bon Bon palette. And let me show you what it looks like just in case you guys are wondering. But that is what it looks like. And I do have, I, or I will be filming that next, okay? Not a tutorial, cause I wanted to test it out but I will be filming like a comparison of all three of them because I have all three of them. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this out a little bit with my Beauty Blender. So I am gonna be using this color right here, which is Topaz and it's by Ben Nye. You guys always see me use that to set this. And coming soon, you guys, coming to a YouTube channel near you, I'm gonna be comparing the Sasha Buttercup powder to the Ben Nye powder. And hold on, let me find it. I'm gonna be comparing it to the Laura Mercier also, but I cannot find it at the moment. So anyway, let's move on. And make sure you blend that out, guys. So here's the Maker Forever Dual Matte Powder. This is in the number 216, and I think it's called Caramel, if I'm not mistaken. Caramel, caramel. And you only get a very little bit. So I was like, this sure better be worth it, because look, you see that little thing right there? That's all you get, really. And it comes with it comes with a sponge underneath it, but I really don't plan on using the sponge, okay? So when you look at the powder, you guys, it looks like I have not even used it. 
but I have. And that's one thing that I like about this is that when you put your brush in it, because I totally use the brush, it does not make it powdery. It does not make it flaky. So that right there is all good with me. So what we're going to do is we are going to use this Sigma brush. And this is the Sigma F80. I've had this for a very long time, y'all. I don't use it very much, but I thought we would bring this baby out because it's a flat top. And I wanted to use it with this because I want to make sure that I pack everything in since this is all we're wearing. So let me show you a little bit of what I was talking about. So you see, I, you can pat as much as you want. Like, look at that. And you see how I didn't get all flaky and all powdery? Like, that's winning with me. And then look at this. Do y'all, look, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this foundation. And like I said, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know all about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just patting it in because I want to kind of pack it on. Now you see a little bit of powder on there, but I'm telling you, very minimal. Picking it up, putting it down. Picking it up, putting it down. Just kidding. Now I initially got this powder foundation because I wanted to wear it to set my makeup, right? Because it's mattifying. So I was like, oh, I need another mattifying powder. I really love my BH Cosmetics powder, but the thing about that powder is it is not mattifying. It's very gorgeous. It has a great finish, but it's not mattifying. That's why I haven't been wearing it all summer. So I was like, I need another mattifying powder that is in a compact because I do have one. I have makeup forever, but I have the loose one. This stuff is really, really good. You can see this side has it on and then this side doesn't. So you see the difference? Look how gorgeous this is. So what made me want to do a video on this is I wore this like during the week, right? Cause I was like, I'm gonna just test it out and I'm gonna try it. And then Asia came home and she was like, mom, do you have a makeup? And I was like, mm -hmm, I sure do. And she was like, oh, you should wear that. You should wear that by itself. So, you know me, I'm like, aha. let's do it. And then I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted to see a video on this by itself. And y'all said, yeah, girl. So that's what I'm doing. Now, if you are not the type of person that likes to do liquid foundation all the time, y'all, this is the remedy. It's not like full coverage, but it still looks flawless. So I'm okay with that. But you see that? It looks like I haven't even touched it, y'all. Like, I love this. Th this is okay with me. So now on top of that, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in Q120, as always. This is my favorite side to contour because it just comes out so much better. Do y'all have a favorite side? Because I totally do, and this is it. Oh, y'all got a new hair. Do you see my little bun? I want to do something a little bit different. So that is it, you guys. The foundation is on. I used Max Fever Blush and I used the City Color Highlight as my highlight. Bling, bling. And now I am going to use this Stila Lipstick in Rico Suave with Vino Lip Liner. And I'll be right back. <music> And there that it oh that's oh okay I'm, I'm feeling it that swatch was gorgeous and it was like little to no effort